Good morning from Betri, Belgium. We're at a familiar spot. Camping Maca. Our friends Guido and Nancy own this place and it is a beautiful campground. So I have to ask you, honey, as a life goal, did you ever have living in a van down by the river on your list? No, that's what I did. Because <laughs> that's what we're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> Only for two nights as we uh, continue on our journey. We just had to see them again. They were so nice and welcoming. And this time around, the campground is open. We were here in the beginning of November, so it was all closed. And we'll show you around the amenities later as well. One of the things we thought we'd talk about today has to do with what we felt like we didn't do as well as we could have, maybe call them even mistakes last time. And the way we are correcting or have worked to correct those issues so that life is easier for us. Uh, and also talk a little bit about absence making the heart grow fonder and how that was good for us to have some time off the road so that we actually were pining for it when we came back. We're definitely coming here with solutions for many of the challenges that we experienced and a newfound appreciation for what we have. Um, and right off the bat, it's the first week of September and we're here in the camper exploring. Whereas last time it was solidly the middle to late November by the time Zen Denny arrived in Zeebrugge and we were packed up and traveling again. And two months at these latitudes really means a lot. And the newfound appreciation uh, absence does make the heart grow fonder. And as nice as the time was in the condo, I'm not going to... There were good parts to the first three months at Casa Grande, but shh, 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 I don't even know what you see, but shh, I'm recording, mija. I see you fish, know, papa. Cayete, mija. Um, oh, you're thoroughly distracting, papa. <laughs> I even lost my train of thought. There's plants floating by and she's growling at them oh, in the water. Okay. <laughs> Well, this is live and in the moment, but seriously, I did lose my train of thought. Where was I going? Oh, Casa Grande. Uh, that place was a complete shithole for us, but the condo was great. But absence makes the heart grow fonder because we had seen all these areas before. We were driving roads that we had driven before. And even though we are in a place we've been before right now, we took a different route to get here and it it's amazing. We're just driving down the road in Denny and he's doing everything that he does best. Hey, I'm trying to work here, Mija. So am I, Papa. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I'll transfer it over to Beck because I'm completely lost at this point. Probably first and foremost is the fact that we're also here two years later than we were the last time. And if we all remember what the world was like in October of 2021, it really didn't matter where in the world you were, life was harder. <laughs> so I think that by itself, and we've already seen it, you know, uh, you go into a restaurant, you sit down, you eat, no mask, no pass sanitaire, nothing. It's just like normal and uh, hopefully it stays that way for many many years to come but that by itself I think will completely change the trajectory of this journey for us just more fun more things open uh, people come up to us and talk to us whereas last time everybody was self you know distancing so we've had multiple people come up to us in the truck and, oh, where are you from? Oh, I hear an American accent. Oh, I'm from... And it's still camping season. Yeah. So a lot more human interaction, a lot more fun to be had going out and doing things. And I think that just by itself, even all of the fixes we've made to Denny to make European life easier will make this more fun. I don't know about you, honey, but I have a fair amount of regrets from the last trip. And 
One of the bigger regrets, and there were several of them, but I'll, this is the one that just pops into my mind, is we didn't say yes often enough. And I don't want to say we were buying into the fear, but because the world in the fall of 2021 with the vaccination mandates and all the COVID peak Delta wave and then Omicron, we did kind of stay to ourselves. And the noteworthy thing is in Croatia, was it Christmas or New Year's? New Year's. It was New Year's. And Zvona from the restaurant that we went to that was only a few minute walk away invited us to come take the van and stay at his family house on the water and celebrate the holiday with him. But it was peak, peak Omicron. Omicron. And we made personal decisions that didn't give us a a defense shield that 99% of the people in the world got. I'll just say it that way. And we, I don't know. It was just, I wanted to so bad, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like it was a mistake now, but in the moment we were just doing self-preservation because neither of us wanted to catch it, but then we ended up catching it in Ireland. So that's the way it goes. Ben touched on the topic of timing a minute ago, but I'll kind of expand on that a little bit. If for those of you who watched us back in 21, you'll remember that we did a big remodel on the truck right before we left the States. So we had a lot less control over when we got here because we had to finish that. <laughs> had to, <laughs> after a certain point, finish it. And uh, it meant that we arrived and started our journey in Europe much later in the year, November. Um, we really love to start, even in the States, we would do this higher latitudes in the fall, you know, or even late summer, and then follow the fall south because you get this perfect period of weather that's extended then. I think most of us agree that fall is an amazing time to go camping because the temperatures are not too cold and not too hot. It's like Goldilocks season. <laughs> well, the kids are back in school, so the vast majority of the population wraps up travel. Yeah, it's quieter. Uh, it's easier to go do stuff because you're not fighting. That's, I mean, we were strategic about when we came back this time, actually, because the tickets were cheaper to fly back here. Uh, everything will be less expensive when it's not peak tourist season and it's not as hot and there are just less people to deal with. So we waited until the Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that after Labor Day to fly on purpose this time. And it means that we can follow the good weather all the way south and really have this extended fall season, which is my favorite season anyway because of the changing leaves and, you know, you start to have some little changes in weather, which are nice and yeah, it's perfect to have it just go on for months as you go south. And I think that will make a really nice journey for us, too. One of the uh, problems that we're bringing back a solution for is Internet connectivity, thanks to the Starlink. And it just fits very well into the camper here with the lithium battery bank and the solar panels working wonderful right now. Uh, but just knowing that we have another tool in our bag to be able to work from the road is going to be a tremendous weight off our shoulders because, yes, Europe does have amazing cell service, but each country you have to buy a SIM card. And yes, we do have a French phone and it gives us like 250 or so gigs a month in France and what's it up to now? 35. 35 out of France and it will work all around Europe but for the type of work we do we need more than 35 gigs so this will be great as well. Another thing and if we do life well <laughs> it won't be an issue but we can now plug in to the European current when it's cloudy and the panels can't work or if it's really hot and we want to park somewhere in the shade and run the air conditioner because you combine shade and air conditioning that's a winning scenario and the dc to dc charger so there's actually a controlling unit between 
Denny and charging the lithium batteries in the house. So we are constantly figuring things out and dialing things in on this truck. And I think being fluid and being open to, hey, let's try this to see how it goes. Because everybody's ideas, you know, I'm talking about Beck and I here, they have worth because they have a perspective and I have good ideas. She has bad ideas. And after <laughs> I oh, have bad ideas, sorry. was that sorry, a Freudian that was a, slip? <laughs> that, was, that came out wrong. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. That's staying in. Well, okay. So you have bad ideas. <laughs> ben has bad ideas. Rebecca has good ideas. Now we're level. <laughs> so, wow. We give everything a shot is what I'm trying to say, because if it doesn't work, we just revert back to the way we were doing things. And Denny is very dialed in after, what are we? Five years, almost oh. six, five and a half. Five years. Love this truck. On that note, I think we can show you around Camping Racket now. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? It was your idea, so it must oh, be good. Yep. Well, this is a good place. Let's get started. Right here where we are parked is the open field for tents and vehicles that are off grid. I don't know if that's a regulation goal, but here's a miniature pitch for playing football. Uh, translating, it's a miniature soccer field. <laughs> and here's a volleyball, whatever you call them. Court? But if it's beach volleyball, is that still a court? Guido was telling us about this uh, accommodation unit here. That is way too cool. So it's a wooden land cruiser vintage with a rooftop tent and annex on back so people could get a unique camping experience. I like it. Then right next to the rooftop tent camping experience are a couple cabins. And there's more scattered all around here. I like these fire pits down by the river places to uh, sit and you could get a big old raging fire going. Check this out. A zip line into the river. Oh, that's cool. A little ladder to get back up. Well, back at home, these are called Adirondack chairs. Mm -hmm. What are they called here? Je ne sais pas. <laughs> Adirondack. Comfortable? <laughs> we'll leave it at that. When they were closed last November, here's where we parked and... Here's the playground. That ping pong table was very helpful for us unpacking and resetting Denny to make him uh, travel ready again. Here's the trash and recycling center and then the bathrooms. Okay, oh, this is so clean and nice. Very, very nice uh, bathhouse here. I won't get too close because there's people staying in them, but those are tents for a uh, glamping type of setup. Here's electric vehicle charging points and where you empty the cassette toilet. And then the campground extends all the way down that road again, but it loops back up there with uh, some full-time sites where people have their, uh, well, we'd call it a trailer park in the States. And then the bridge with the creek that leads into the bigger river that we are camped on. Well, that's a wrap for now, at least. But I just got to say, I missed this. I missed our morning breakfast and coffee and the routine, the comfortable bed, the complete kitchen. Uh, struggling in the, some of the Airbnbs because you get to a place and it's got scratched up Teflon or an rusted out stuff. It's, home. I love to cook. Huh? It's home. Yeah, this is home. We have Denny dialed in. We know that we have every kitchen appliance that more or less we will need. And it's clean to your levels and it's your sheets, your towels. Your toilet. Your toilet. It's home. And I'm at least happy to be back out on the road. I am too. Yeah. I, uh, I, when we came home from Europe last time, I felt this terrible 
guilt for having not enjoyed it as much as we thought we should have. Um, but we also came at a challenging time in the world. And the thing, the conclusion that I've had is, uh, well, we reached our limits on that trip, but how few people actually do something that pushes them all the way to the edges of their limits. And those aren't our limits anymore. We have new limits and we survived it and we challenged ourselves. And that's kind of the whole point. And there's nothing to feel bad about. It was actually a growth point instead of something to be, to feel bad about. We've spoken about this, but we also came here cocky. And I'm not saying like the cocky American <laughs> tourist no. in Europe type of cocky. Cocky, like uh, we've been down the road it. since 2015. Like. <laughs> How hard could we this were doing be? it before as a hashtag people and I really think that it was more challenging than we expected mm -hmm. and it was a learning process mm -hmm. and we came back again but we also did it we did it we didn't give up we're back we're gonna do it again and we're gonna have a lot more fun yep. this time and now it's time to just enjoy this wonderful environment I guess I'm eating dinner without you. Oh, wow. Well, you well, got to go to work. Yep. I'm going to bring a pizza back, but this is a uh, pasta scampi. Bye. Bye. Well, I'm going to go as far as to call Camping Maca a resort because of the restaurant. You do not have to leave this wonderful place. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for hanging out with us. We're going to head north to, I don't want to jinx it because you know, every time I call the shot, something happens, but we're heading north to visit some friends in a place known for sex and drugs. Honey, these aren't neck massagers. We walked into the wrong store. Oh, sure. Oh. Guido put our uh, sticker on the door. Oh, so, awesome. <laughs> so we started it. We're officially part of the Mecca. What's that, Lucy? <laughs> Oh, there's cookies. Oh, there's treats. Oh, there's treats. Looky. All right, buddy. Yeah. Nice see you again. See you again. I don't know when. Yeah. Home somewhere. Maybe you somewhere. Have yeah. Some time off this winter. We'll cross paths. Never yeah. know. Yeah. I hope yeah. that we are always able to drive around this. It's a small exactly. planet. Yeah. It's yeah. a really small continent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're heading to Amsterdam, and after that you have to go to Amsterdam. Well, south. 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 So you cross. Warm temperatures. Yeah. Autumn. Well, maybe we see each other because yeah. we yeah. have some. Oh yeah. yeah. No, anything's possible. Yeah. With crazy people like us. Yeah. So we know where to find you. Yes. yes. That's All right. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Thanks. Thanks for, Thanks for coming. Yeah. And, uh, you don't smell like French fries at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>